Hey everyone, it's 1.50 uh, p.m. here on a sunny, clear afternoon in San Francisco. Uh, we're going to look at the shadow of the sun and see what happens through time. I want you to take a look at how the shadow looks right now and then think about and predict what it's going to do over the course of the next 10 minutes. This direction is to the south, where the sun is. This direction is to the north. The shadow is on the north side of the stick. And that means the shadow is a little bit to the east. All right, it has been 10 minutes now. Let's see what's happened. What has changed about the shadow? It's moved to the east and it's gotten a little bit longer. I want you to make a prediction taking a piece of paper, like it's this whiteboard here, and draw what would happen to the shadow over the course of the entire day. If we had this out here and we were monitoring it all day. If you want, you can just draw where the tip of the shadow is going to be and follow that through the course of the day. Or you can make vertical lines, whatever seems like a good representation to you. So you can see the shadow is moving to the east and it keeps getting longer. That's because the sun has passed the highest point in the sky and it's getting lower in the sky, making the shadow get longer and longer as the sun gets lower. The shadow is moving to the east because the sun is moving to the west where it will set. Of course, that's all from the Earth's perspective. The sun isn't the thing moving, the Earth is actually rotating, making it look like the sun is moving story. 